What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic The Coward Canelo and Charlo's Ducking Me, says Andrade. Is Canelo and Charlo intimidated by Andrade? Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. Okay, boxing fans, we're going to talk some boxing. We're going to chop it up. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, recently, uh, during the build up to the uh, Canelo. Well, actually, it was during the uh, post-fight, uh, you know, conference after uh, Canelo defeated uh, Billy Joe Sanders uh, for the uh, WBO belt, 168 pounds. Uh, that was last couple of days ago, actually. And so, uh, Demetrius Andrade attended the, you know, the post-fight conference and he, you know, he asked Canelo about when they can get their fight going, when they can, you know, when they can get it on. And uh, Canelo responded by saying that uh, Charlo, I mean, he responded by saying that Demetrius Andrade is a terrible fighter, he's a boring fighter, and that he's never going to get a, 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 a chance to fight Canelo. In other words, Canelo is saying that he's never going to fight Demetrius Andrade. Uh, now, I mean, at the end of the day, that was a pretty suspect uh, response from Canelo. I mean, you know, uh, recently, Demetrius did an uh, interview with Akin, on the Akin Barak show, and he basically uh, called Canelo a coward, okay? Uh, he said Canelo was, he was make, you know, making a cowardly move by ducking him, and he's been ducking him for years. Uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, when you look at what's going on, I mean, it's hard, you know, to come to any other, uh, conclusion than that, you know, somehow, uh, for, for whatever reason, Canelo is basically intimidated by Andrade because, I mean, if you feel that a fighter is a terrible fighter, okay, why not just fight him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you feel that uh, Andrade is a terrible fighter, then go ahead and beat him up and take his belt. Because, you know, I, I find it hard to understand how Canelo can fight somebody like Yildirim, okay, who had no belt. There was nothing to gain for Canelo fighting Yildirim, but he fought Yildirim, you know, who is actually literally a terrible fighter, and you won't fight Andrade, who's a champion and has a belt that you can actually get and take. And not only that, but you make, you know, good money fighting Andrade. So I, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit confused about all of that, okay? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of fighters that Canelo has fought, you know, a lot of them are not as good as Andrade, okay? I, I, I would have to say most of them, except for, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, and I don't think they're any better than Andrade. So to say that, you know, Andrade is a terrible fighter and you're not going to fight him because of that, that doesn't really make much sense. You know, I mean, I can see if you say, oh, you mean, you're just too good. I'm not going to fight you. That's a different story. But to say I'm a terrible fighter, you're a terrible fighter, but then you don't want to fight a terrible fighter. But yet you fought Yildrim. So the two of, you know, those two things just don't, don't mesh for me and I you know it, it doesn't make any sense so I'm gonna have to agree with uh Andrade that based on you know the evidence because now we have to remember I'm, you know based on the evidence we're gonna have to agree that Canelo's ducking uh Demetrius Andrade and he's been ducking him for years and there's no you know there's no way around that conclusion because we all know that when Canelo was at 154 pounds Okay, uh, I was at 160 pounds. He had a chance to become, un, you know, to become, uh, he had a chance to become undisputed by fighting 
by fighting uh, Demetrius Andrade. And he, instead of fighting Andrade and becoming undisputed at 160, he moved up to 168 pounds. So, I mean, why would you move up to 168 pounds just to start all over again at trying to become undisputed instead of just taking that one fight with Andrade at 160 and becoming undisputed there? I mean, you could have you could have become undisputed at 160, then move up and become undisputed at 168. But no, Canelo, with three belts, he had three belts. All he needed was the WBO strap from Andrade, and instead of fighting Andrade, he moved up to 168 pounds. So, you know, when you add that to what Canelo just said recently, when you add the two of them together, uh, there's no other conclusion but the fact that he's, you know, for some, for whatever reason, he's ducking the fight with Andrade. And, you know, uh, I don't think Andrade is calling him a coward. You know, I mean, calling him a coward is one thing, but at the end of the day, uh, whether or not he's a coward or not, that's another story. But... He's definitely intimidated by uh, Demetrius Andrade, that's for sure. And, you know, the record speaks for itself. So there's no, you know, dispute in the fact. It's a fact, okay? He's been avoiding Andrade and the receipts are there for anybody to see, okay? You can't avoid that, okay? So at the end of the day, it is what it is. And, you know, we know that uh, Jamal Charlo has been ducking Andrade, you know, for years as well, okay? Uh you know, uh, we just saw Jamel Charlo, uh, who was Jamal Charlo's brother, came out recently. I mean, not only are these guys ducking Andrade, but they want to blackball him from boxing. I mean, this is this is how much this is how much Andrade intimidate uh, the Charlos. Okay, they're so you know uh, they're so keen to avoid. Uh, Andrade, they don't even want him boxing. They want him to be blackballed altogether from boxing so they don't have to fight him, okay? This is what it has come to when it comes to uh, Andrade, you know, as far as the Charlos are concerned. Now, I mean, I know the Charlos, you know, they have this excuse that they had for the past 10 years now. They've been using the same excuse for 10 years or more, you know, about Andrade pulling out of a fight uh with the uh charlos uh, you know back then when he had some issues with his uh uh box nation uh contract and you know uh 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 yeah he had a problem with you know he had some issues and so for some whatever reason he pulled out of a fight with Charlo. that was over 10 years ago but they still using that to avoid fighting uh you know andrade today so i mean what other conclusion are we going to come to when we put all this together okay I mean, Charlo, you know, uh, you know, we all know, you know, now I'm, I'm going to say this, you know, Jamal Charlo has been a big disappointment as a, as a fighter, uh, you know, these past couple of years in terms of legacy and what he's actually doing, you know, at middleweight. He hasn't accomplished anything at middleweight, basically, okay? He has done nothing really at middleweight, nothing whatsoever, okay? Uh, you know, uh, his next fight coming up is some guy called Montiel, uh, you know, whoever that is. I mean, I know who Montiel is. Some people might not know who he is, but he's not, you know, uh, I wouldn't call him an elite fighter at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, I, you know, it was said that Jamel Charlo, I mean, excuse me, Jamal Charlo was offered $7 million, of, uh, you know, up, 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 almost up to $15 million to fight uh, Andrade, and he refused. Okay, and so you know that was that came from Eddie Hearn. Okay, that they offered that money to Charlie. Charlie claimed that he didn't get no offer. Okay, from them, but I mean, I you know, uh, at the end of the day, we see Jamal Charlo, you know, uh, avoiding Demetrius Andre and uh, not just Demetrius Andre, but other fighters like Benavidez. Okay, we saw Jamal Charlo come out there. And I mean, I mean, you know, these guys are so ridiculous with their, uh, you know, uh, ducking that, you know, they, the reason they come up with is just amazing. You know, we see Canelo with his, you know, ridiculous reasons about not fighting uh, Andre. Oh, you're, you're, you're a terrible fighter, so I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I mean, what the hell is that all about? And then, you know, we have, on, you know, we have Jamal Charlo reason for ducking uh, Benavidez. His reasons was, oh, he's not going to fight anybody under 25 uh then another time he said he's not gonna fight anybody unless they got a covid uh uh they took the covid vaccination i mean you know 
people, we have to see it for what it is. These are not what excuses, and you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. Andrade uh, is clearly being ducked by uh, Jamal Charlo and Canelo, and they've been ducking Andrade for years, you know. So, you know, we're at the point now in boxing where fighters could just blatantly duck other fighters and make up any nonsensical reason for the ducking and people go ahead and ride with that. But, I, you know, I, I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Uh, even these guys, you know, if, if, if both of these guys think that Andrade is so bad as a fighter or he's boring as a fighter or he's this or he's not, and they go, then go ahead and fight him and take that belt from him. That's what I say. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's not even just Andrade that, that uh, Jamal Charlo is ducking. I mean, he's not even trying to take on anybody at middleweight, basically. He's not trying to unify any, you know, any belts at middleweight. There's other people you can unify with, Marata, you know, there's Golovkin. I mean, they've been trying to, I think they, they were trying to get the Golovkin fight, but Golovkin is trying to get the Canelo fight. They are trying to get the Canelo fight, basically. Okay, and Canelo is basically just pick, choosing and refusing who he fights. Okay, but he did make it clear that he would never fight Andrade and to me when you say something like that that you know there's something else going on besides the fact that you want to fight that guy you know the, you're you're afraid of something okay and so I think you know uh Canelo is definitely afraid of Andrade and you know at the end of the day I don't really blame him because the skills that Andrade is going to bring to the table is going to be a problem uh for uh Canelo okay now I'm not going to say that Canelo can't beat Andrade Okay, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, Canelo is a very skilled fighter, you know, great fighter, actually. And, you know, uh, I would probably bet with Canelo against almost everybody, except for Andrade, that is. I would, if they were to fight, I would be going with Andrade in that one. But anybody else, I would probably go with Canelo, except maybe also for Charlo. I mean, Charlo might have a shot at beating Canelo. Okay, that's Jamal Charlo. Probably even Jamal Charlo also. But at the end of the day, those fights have to happen for us to be, you know, for us to see how it's going to play out, okay? And, you know, for, for Jamal Charlo, uh, for, I mean, excuse me, for Jamal Charlo, you know, to make up excuses about fighting Andrade and continue to use the same old tired-ass excuse from 10 years ago as the reason for why he's not fighting Demetrius Andre and while he's continuing to fight nobodies, okay? You know, it, 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 it's a slap in the face of uh, boxing fans all over the world. Okay, these guys need to step up their game, especially, especially Charlo. Okay, because Charlo, I mean, we we could give Canelo a little pass, you know, not in saying that I'm not going to give him a pass and not fighting Demetrius Andrade, but we can give him a pass in this for the fact that he has fought a lot of guys. I mean, he's fought some of the best people of this generation. He fought Mayweather, he fought Trout, he fought Lara. Okay, he fought Kodo. I mean, a lot of these guys were past their primes when he fought them, but he still fight, you know, they were still pretty good and he fought them. Jamal Charles has fought nobody. And I mean that literally. He has fought nobody as a middleweight champion. There was a lot of, you know, uh, people that thought that, you know, of the two brothers that Jamal Charlo was going to have a bigger shine. But it looks like, you know, uh, Jamal Charlo is really the one that's shining at... Uh, you know, uh, you know, of the Charlo brothers, he's the one, you know, getting ready to fight for Undisputed soon, okay, and his brother, Jamal Charlo, is not even fighting a title fight with anybody, you know, in the top 10, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, uh, it's amazing when you really look at it, you know, uh, Jamal Charlo is definitely, you know, uh, you know, uh, basically, you know, underperforming as a, as a champion at middleweight and uh yeah he, ha he hasn't really done much and it doesn't look like he's getting ready to do much either i mean you know besides uh, who's he gonna fight after this montiel character well, who knows okay so uh both of these guys when you look at the you know the record you know charlo and canelo and i'm gonna say it again they have been ducking they have been ducking uh, Demetrius Andrade, and they continue to duck Demetrius Andrade. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to, you know, get mad at uh, Demetrius Andrade for calling these guys cowards, okay? Because, you know, these guys need to step it up and, 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 and take the challenge. Now, in, the, in, the, in, in, in you know, in the case of Canelo and Andrade, uh, and, even of, and even with Charlo, I mean, I understand that Canelo 
is trying to become undisputed 168. But we're not going to forget the fact. You know, a lot of people are going to say, well, oh, you know, he's trying to be great by becoming undisputed 168, so he doesn't have time to be trying to fight Charlo or, or, or Andrade at 160. But the fact remains that Canelo was at 160, and we're not going to be able to, you know, just, you know, uh, forget about it. He was at 160. He had three titles, okay, at 160, and he had a chance. He had a chance to uh to fight Demetrius Andrade for undisputed at 160, and he chose to move up to 168 instead. I mean, I why would you do something like that? You you have one fight to become undisputed at 160, but instead you're gonna move up to 168. Why would you do that? Because I mean, you you claim that uh, Andrade is a terrible fighter, so if he's a terrible fighter. And he was the only person standing in your way of becoming undisputed. Why didn't you take that fight? Somebody is going to have to explain that to me. Okay? You, somebody have to explain that to me. Why did he, didn't Canelo take that fight to become undisputed against uh, Demetrius Andrade? If, if he wasn't afraid, you know, of Andrade. Why, why wouldn't you take that fight? So, you know, unless somebody, you know, somebody has to explain that to me, because if you can't explain that to me, then, you know, the only conclusion that we can come to is that uh, he, he's ducking Andrade and he's afraid to fight Andrade because he doesn't think that he can beat Andrade at the end of the day. And, I, you know, and that's not to take anything away from Canelo. He's a great fighter. I mean, you know, he's fought a lot of guys out there. We saw what he did to Billy Joe Saunders. You know, he folded him up like a lawn chair. Okay. Uh, but, you know, uh, Canelo, you know, I, I, you know, I, he could do that to guys like uh, Billy Joe Saunders, who's, you know, B J Billy Joe Saunders is basically overrated at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, we are, that was definitely seen in the Canelo fight. You know, we saw that he was an overrated fighter. And not only that, he'd been very inconsistent in his, you know, performances. And uh, the Canelo fight was just another one of those uh, inconsistencies at the end of the day. So, you know, Billy Joe Saunders is not exactly, you know, a disciplined uh, you know, actor in, in the boxing game. And, you know, all of that showed in the Canelo fight, you know, uh, Canelo basically dispatched him, you know, with no part, with not much of a problem. Okay. Uh, I would love to see the Andrade or Charlo fight Canelo, or even to see Andrade fight uh, Charlo. I, I, I want to see one of these guys fight. I want to see these guys fight each other, all of them, you know, Canelo, Andrade, and Charlo, they need to fight each other, okay? We need to see, I would even, you know, I wouldn't even mind seeing the Andrade-Charlo fight first, and then the winner go up and fight Canelo, okay, at 168, or Canelo could come down. Well, it doesn't matter to me which one it is, okay? Uh, so that's what I would I'd like to see, okay? I mean, at this point, Canelo is at 168, and he has one fight left to become undisputed, so he's probably going to fight... Uh, Caleb Plant, you know, to become undisputed. If Caleb Plant takes that fight, we don't know if he's going to take it. Okay. Uh, okay. And then after that, you know, uh, you have, who is he going to fight next after becoming undisputed? You have, you're going to, you know, there's nobody up there left for him to fight 168. So you, you still have unfinished business at 160 with Charlo and with, uh, well, oh, for, excuse me. There is Benev Benavides, but I I don't know if Canelo is gonna fight Benavides. I don't think so. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, Benavides doesn't have a belt, so you know, uh, unless he become a number one contender for uh, one of those belts, I don't think Canelo is ever gonna fight him. Okay, but he, Canelo has unfinished business at 160. You know, you have Charlo and you have uh, Andrade down there. So, you know, let's see what's going to happen. But, you know, at this point, you know, there's no other conclusion we can come to but the fact that uh, both Charlo, uh, well, actually both Charlos and Canelo are ducking Andrade. They've been ducking him for years. And at this point, it seems like they are comfortable, you know, with continuing to duck him. But, you know, it looks like uh, Char uh Andrade is coming out firing on all cylinders. He's calling these guys a coward. He's calling Canelo a coward. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's hard to come to any other conclusion that 
than that uh, Canelo is intimidated by Andrade and probably also intimidated by Charlo as well. And then we definitely know that Charlos are intimidated by Andrade because they've, they've been ducking him for years. So there's a lot of ducking going on with these guys, okay? They, you know, the Charlos are ducking, Canelo is ducking, and you know these guys need to stop with the ducking and you know and and and, and you know and running up the mouth and you know put up, you know or shut up. You know what I'm saying? You know all this talk about blackballing Andrade is just you know foolish talk by by the Charlos, and they need to stop it. They're making himself look silly. They need to get in that ring, you know. I mean, I'm not gonna go you know hard on Jamel Charlo because, like I said, he's doing what he needs to be done. Okay, he's fighting top quality opponents, but his brother Jamal Charlo is a you know is a disappointment, basically, you know, uh, at middleweight and hasn't really been living up, you know, to his full potential. I would think. I, I think you know, uh, he, he's not really fighting anybody. Okay, at the end of the day, and you know, a big money fight and legacy fight. Is waiting for him, you know, in Andrade, and he refused to take that fight instead of chasing Canelo. Okay, you know, so I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Andrade. Both of these guys, you know, uh, Charlo, the Charlos, and Canelo are basically intimidated by him, and you know, everything they do and say shows that fact. So it is what it is. So uh, I'm not gonna keep going on with this. We all know what it is. Okay. Uh, it's time for these guys to stop ducking Andrade and get in the ring with him sooner or later. Uh, okay. Uh, I think he's doing the right thing by calling Canelo a coward because Canelo has been ducking him for years and Charlo has been ducking him for years. So they're both ducks at the end of the day. Okay. And they need to stop with the ducking and, you know, uh, take this fight with, uh, Andrade. You know, either one of them, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. So uh, that's all I have for right now. I'm not going to go on too much with this one. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, okay? Hit the bell icon so you can get the latest. Go to w, uh, uh, www.tbeboxing.com. Get the latest boxing news, boxing headlines, boxing commentary, and you can also donate to the channel, all right? So that's all I have for right now. This is TBE Boxing. I'm out.